right now at 11, watching your life flash before your eyes. It can happen 35 tons of concrete and still barreling towards your windshield. Look at this. Wow, it's happened before and today it happened again. In Sandy Springs, police say this concrete mixer flipped over on Dupree Road when the driver tried to make a turn. It's exactly the kind of rollover crash that the 11 Alive investigators have discovered is a risk on the road every day. But why? It's a good question. Here's Chief Investigator Brendan Key. One second, you're slowing to a stop at a red light. The next, you're helplessly watching a concrete truck rolling over into your car. Watch again. The concrete mixer runs a red light, swerves to avoid a pickup taking the green, then swerves back to correct course. There's no stopping the rollover because the center of gravity of a loaded concrete truck is actually above the driver's head. You don't have to explain those physics to the Atlanta drivers who survived this crash. 22-year-old Bennett Alterman was pinned between the parts of a concrete mixer inside his own car at 14th Street in Hemp Hill. Bystanders leaping into action to pull him from the intertwined wreckage. He survived with relatively minor injuries. The rolling concrete mixer took out his roof, windshield, and steering wheel, but somehow Bennett made it out of this alive. It's surprisingly okay, it's considering that just left the light mark. Unbelievable. A Georgia Tech police camera partially captured the crash. Witnesses told police the concrete truck plowed through two red lights. The driver was rescued from the concrete truck and cited for driving too fast and running the lights. The police report shows the weight of the truck turned it over when the driver swerved. Among the survivors, former mayor and UN ambassador Andrew Young. These trucks are much too dangerous to be speeding and they can't stop. Just five days earlier, a nearly identical crash in Decatur involving the same company, Ready Mix USA. Here too, a survivor was pulled alive from a crushed car and the concrete driver was cited for going too fast. Three witnesses saw him running a red traffic signal. The 11 Alive investigators found this federal lawsuit filed against Ready Mix USA by its own drivers in 2011, before a judge ruled the company was exempt from paying drivers overtime. The lawsuit shows Ready Mix USA had recently switched from paying drivers by the hour to paying them a set dollar amount per load. Put yourself behind the wheel of a concrete mixer truck. The stoplight up ahead turns yellow. You have a split second to decide. Do you hit the gas or the brake? If you're paid by the hour, it costs you nothing to wait at a red light. In fact, you're paid while you wait. But if you're paid by the load, those reds can add up to a lot of green. Fewer deliveries, fewer dollars in your pocket. So what would you do at that yellow light? Would you hit the brake or the gas? We caught concrete mixers accelerating through yellows and reds at Armor Drive and I-85. The 11 Alive investigators recorded multiple concrete companies running the light including trucks from Ready Mix USA. At this right on red, driver after driver rolled through the red as if it were green, even when their view was blocked by a semi. Turns at speed are the most dangerous for loaded concrete mixers because they're top heavy. At intersections all over Atlanta, you can see hardened concrete where loaded trucks spilled while making turns. An empty truck weighs nearly 30,000 pounds and can easily crush a car. Add another 40,000 pounds of concrete and the heavier load is driving the truck instead of the truck driving the load. This video shows a turning concrete mixer rolling onto a row of parked cars in Australia. Yet right after the rollover in Decatur and just before the rollover in Atlanta, Georgia's DOT removed its load cap for concrete mixers, allowing some trucks to carry another 8,000 pounds of concrete to state jobs but there's a new device already holding some drivers accountable. It's called DriveCam, installed in August on concrete trucks owned by Vulcan. Excessive braking or accelerating, uh, swerves or speedy turns that will all trigger an event. That event is emailed to supervisors as a video clip. Man, you 
see that dude. These Vulcan drivers weren't punished. They were rewarded with gift cards when they were caught on camera avoiding crashes. Just in the last couple of months, we've seen a couple of members jump on board and they said that they've seen some marked improvements in their driver behavior. The goal is to tip the scales back towards safety, preventing rollovers before they happen, so no one finds themselves trapped under a concrete mixer again. But I, I never thought about who was to blame. I was just grateful to God for surviving. And remember, the company involved in that crash was ReadyMix USA. We don't know if ReadyMix is still paying its drivers by the load, so we asked. We also wanted to see if the company had added any safety incentives since those two rollover crashes last May. The company responded with a statement, quote, the safety of our employees and the communities in which we operate is the first priority for ReadyMix USA. At this time, however, ReadyMix USA is not able to comment on your specific inquiries. Wow, that is just simply frightening. Anybody who survives an accident like that is just blessed, pure and simple, just blessed. It's, no question. it's frightening and it's enlightening what you've shown us tonight. So I've got to ask you, how long before the concrete hardens when it's in the mixer truck and, and does that affect decisions that the driver makes behind the wheel? Well, the moment the concrete is mixed, Brenda, with that water at the plant, the clock is ticking. But in the worst case scenario, someone has to get inside that mixer with a hammer or chisel or even a jackhammer because it starts to set up within 90 minutes basically it hardens and they have to break that away uh, otherwise the truck can be ruined they have to break it out so with time all is of, of the essence here time is of the essence wow yes. and then so many people can possibly be at risk of suffering because of that yeah and we've seen the results so hopefully uh, this will lead to some more safety what Vulcan's doing is a uh, is a step in the right direction all right look forward to your next report I'm sure this is not the end of it no thanks. nice job great yeah. what a story